Hey, mental health practice owners, Safi Russell here, founder and CEO of SDR Consulting, Inc. Today, I wanted to discuss with you a brief topic about bookkeeping and how it is a lot more than just categorizing transactions in your software. If you think about it like one of your EHR systems may be a simple practice, it is a tool that makes it um, more efficient, more time-saving, um, maybe some automations so to allow you to service your clients as opposed to paper and pen. But you still had to have the background and experience and knowledge of how to use that platform properly, how to code things correctly. Those are things you had to learn in your education and your licensing process. Same thing with your bookkeeping and accounting platforms, softwares. QuickBooks Online, for example, if you don't understand the basic rules for accounting and bookkeeping, it's very possible that you will um, not know how to properly do things in QuickBooks, for example, or whatever platform you're using, which can result in improper reports and improper tax return filings. Okay, very important. When you're dealing with bookkeeping, um, you're dealing with income, expenses, assets, liabilities, and equity. And if you don't know what all those pieces are, then how do you then properly um, categorize your transactions accordingly as your transactions come through your business accounts? How do you then add transactions that you may have paid for through a personal account or through um, a cash transaction? Those things may be missing if you don't know how to add those. And when you add accounts, if you don't add them in the right bucket, Maybe you added something as an asset instead of an expense. Now your expenses are understated and you're paying more taxes. So my suggestion is not that you go to school to be an accountant. My suggestion is that if you're going to manage those softwares on your own, that you get properly trained on the basics, get, the, get it set up professionally, um, get your account set up professionally by someone who's familiar with the platform and can maybe just do an overview with you and then touch base throughout the year, maybe monthly, maybe quarterly, at least semi-annually, so that it, when it comes time to do taxes, we're not looking at reports with numbers all over the place and then you have a costly cleanup that you need to do in order to meet your tax deadline, okay? So nothing wrong in wanting to learn how to do it yourself so you fully understand what's going on if you have the time to do that, but you definitely want to get some type of training and set up. Um, assistance with your bookkeeping platform. And at a certain point when you're growing in your practice, it may not be the most useful, um, this may not be the most use, best use of your time in trying to learn bookkeeping and accounting basics as opposed to doing what you do best. And at that point, it's time to hand it over and outsource. Even when you outsource them, you still wanna make sure you understand what's going on so you know how to properly review your reports and ensure that they are accurate. Because at the end of the day, you are responsible for your financials and you're responsible for your tax return. All right, hope that helps with the tip for today and uh, take care and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.